welcome to Battle Royale. I like you. Very nice. Welcome to Battle Royale, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Polly, aka The Doctor. This is a mod of Arma 3. It's made by Player Unknown. Thank you, Player Unknown, for this amazing mod. Uh, it is based or inspired off of the Japanese movie called Battle Royale, where a bunch of high school kids are sort of kidnapped, I think, and forced to fight each other to the death on an island. It's a gladiatorial event, last man standing, so a bunch of us are going to be thrown in the mix over here in a second, and we're all going to end up killing each other <laughs> till there's only one left. Now the rules of the game are very simple. You stay inside the circle and you'll live. You stay outside the circle and you'll slowly die. Now we should be getting ready here, I think, any minute now to get kicked out of this plane, I hope. Oh God, Houston. Houston, we have a problem, Houston. Someone hold me. I'm scared. Really? What the fuck, Arma? What the hell? Alright guys, all the jokes set aside. Um, I'm making this video primarily because when I first started playing Battle Royale, um, I tried to find a guide online and I couldn't. It was just basic walkthroughs or playthroughs of people. Now mind you, I'm not the best player uh, in the game. I'm certainly not the worst. Um, but I'd like to think that this guide is just a beginner's guide. It helps people. It, it, it's for people that are just starting out with Battle Royale to help them understand the mod better. And the mod is a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy. Now I've taken the time to dissect uh, an entire round into four different parts. Now um, obviously some of you might think that there are more parts um, uh, to the round, but I've gone into just the four basics, all right? The first one being landing, obviously, the second one looting, the third one location, setting up location especially, and the last but not least is the logistics, what you're going to need to win a match. So let's dive right into it guys with number one landing. Now the first thing you want to do as soon as you get out of the aircraft is to hit right control and M and that's going to pull out the GPS. It's going to give you a bearing of where you are. Um, Sometimes the plane does drop you off over the ocean, so when you pull up the GPS it'll give you an idea of how far you are from the coastline, and you might have to deploy your chute early just so you could glide back to shore. Now, there are two different play styles when it comes to landing. There is the aggressive style, where people want to get down to the ground as quick as possible, get to the closest gun, and then just start shooting everybody. And there's also an evasive style where you basically take your time, you pull your chute, and you glide all the way from one end of the map to the other. Now me personally, I'd like to get my boots on the ground, my ass in a vehicle, and out of dodge, just so I can live that much longer. So, my advice is, um, for anybody that's starting up with Battle Royale, uh, instead of opening your chute at 1400 meters up in the sky, um, and then trying to glide your way all the way to the airfield. I understand that some of you have done that. You could glide from one end of the map to the other. I personally feel like it's better just to get down on the ground um, as quick as possible or find a road. Most vehicles will spawn around roads. Um, and also you'll have vehicle spawns at the military bases, um, the airfield, and at the canal. So, also look for ve vehicles that spawn uh, close to the towers. If you can spot a tower, uh, sometimes you will find a vehicle around the roads uh, next to the tower. 
Now I did manage to find some footage for you folks, um, just to illustrate my point that sometimes it is a bad idea to pull your chute and try to glide from one end of the map to the other. Uh, in this instance I was lucky enough to run across a care package and um, you can see what happens next. Number two, looting. Now, this to me is the most important part of the round. Because let's face it, if you don't have a gun, you don't have the right attachments, you're not going to be killing jack shit. So, with that in mind, understand that most of the best, like the good loot, uh, the higher caliber guns, will always be in military encampments and airfields. Uh, I'd say that the military towers also have a small chance of having a 6.5 caliber gun like a Katiba um, but if you want the 7.62 and upwards you'd have to get lucky enough to find a care package now the care packages do have different assortments of, uh, of sniper rifles but now post patch uh, 0 0.50 there's going to be three different types of care packages there's going to be an assault rifle care package a sniper rifle care package and also a light machine gun care package. The best tip that I can give you during this phase of the round is people get complacent while they're looting. But they never check their corners. Like this guy. He didn't even realize I was standing right next to him. Alright, so that's definitely something you have to cover. Check your corners guys and listen for footsteps. The only reason I knew he was coming up the staircase and I was waiting for him was because I heard him opening the door. Always remember to close the door behind you because if you don't people will be able to find you easily and trust me they will find you. So check your corners guys and listen for footsteps. Close the door behind you and you'll come out on top every single time. And lastly guys, I would just like to say, in the looting phase, pay attention to the small details. Because really, at the end of the day, it comes down to you capitalizing on other people's mistakes. So, as I'm over here looting at this military outpost, I walk in and I notice an anomaly. So right about now I'm on high alert because I know that the ammunition for this gun is in someone else's bag. So we have unwelcome company. I'm making sure I'm checking all my corners and I make the spot and I get the drop. So again guys pay attention to the small details. They'll really help you out and they'll propel you from top 20 to top 10. Phase fucking three, location. Now you've got yourself a vehicle. You've got yourself all the great loot. You've even got yourself a few kills in the process. What are you gonna do? Now this phase is the hardest phase of them all. And I say this because I have died to phase three more times than any other. Um, it is the hardest one to survive. It is survival of the fittest at this point. On the map, the highest elevations are marked for you. I'm just going to use the Stratus uh, map as an example in the circle where it is. Uh, all the forests and uh, sort of the, the larger dense forest areas are marked in green. The best advice that I can give you for this part of the round is ride the circle. 
that's what most of the players are doing. They're staying at the edges, the outer edges of the circle, hoping to catch people going in. So don't fall victim to that, because some people might have been lucky enough to hit a care package, and they've got sniper rifles, they've got scopes on them. So again, ride the circle, be safe, and understand that the circle does shrink randomly, so you're never going to have the best position. You're going to have to constantly move every two minutes. So just use your gut and don't try to overthink it. My truck, bitch! Ended on a road. Did you die? No, not yet. Not yet. I think that two out of the three are a squad. I'm sure that I have to take both of them on now. 100%. So you want to be a winner winner chicken dinner. Well guys, this is the last part of the round. Logistics. This is where it all comes together. The gear you acquired, your instincts, your intellect, and a little bit of luck. Now, you've heard me just say, I'm dealing with a squad. I always assume the worst. That way, if I'm dealing with a squad, I'm well prepared. Also, this late in the game, it's best that you lose your backpack because while you're prone through the grass, people will see your backpack sticking out. Now I know what most of you are thinking, hey doc, what the hell, I've acquired all these guns and I put them in my backpack. Let's face it, when it comes down to the final two, you're really not going to need an assortment of weapons. My advice is just go with the one that you're most comfortable with. And make sure you have enough medikits because sometimes it's that much easier to just sit outside the circle and kill people as they're going in. Camouflage is also a big factor in logistics. As you can see in this round, my opponent walks right by me. And lastly guys, I'd like to end by saying that I really enjoy this mod. This is one of my favorite mods at the moment, and I don't take it too seriously. I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, this is just a beginner's guide. It's just a start. If you guys liked it or found it useful, please hit the like button and show me some love in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Happy holidays, everyone.